there are several challenges uh, that, that still remain for GIST. You know, GIST is one of these diseases that's been very, um, been very well molecularly, molecularly characterized, uh, but that, that ha clearly hasn't told us everything because uh, while we have found some drugs that work very well, we're not curing patients. And while there are some people who do, do get prolonged disease um, control and eradication, uh, once you stop the uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors in, in patients with advanced disease, you do find that the disease comes back. So one, clearly newer and better drugs are, are, are needed, and there are some in clinical trials that look promising, but immunotherapy is another way uh, uh, forward. You know, most of the drugs that are out there for just right now are tyrosine kinase inhibitors. They work inside the cell. Immunotherapy is a way of attacking just from outside, and uh, by eliciting an immune response, uh, you get the, the microenvironment and the body's immune system to uh, help to eradicate just. Um, for the regular management of GIS, um, you know, there are uh, several uh, prognosticators that uh, have been established. Uh, something that, um, that we struggle with is uh, patients who come in for biopsies get very small biopsies. And because of that, we don't, uh, are not uh, often able to do mole um, molecular sequencing of their tumors. And we also can't uh, count what are called the mitoses, the number of cell divisions in, in these tumors. And those are very important uh, predictors of response and how patients will do um, on therapy. So we do need better ways to, um, and unfortunately you can't just do biopsy, large biopsies in everyone. Sometimes uh, they're prohibitive because of risk. Um, patients can be very frail and um, so uh, we need to figure out other um, uh, markers of how this disease is going to behave and, um, and there's other surrogates for things like mitosis.